Hey everybody and welcome to Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery Channel. You're expecting to see Sherry, but today you're going to get me. Sorry, no random Sherryness today, um, but you're going to get Pam. So today we're going to talk about the importance of being prepared and what that means in your bariatric life. Um, today I'm in my kitchen. Well, it's actually nighttime, so... Um, if I look a little tired, I've had a very busy day. Today I am preparing several things to take me throughout the week and several things that I'll be able to freeze um, to make meal planning so much easier. Um, most of us have jobs and we work long hours and um, when you're trying to fit in your exercise and you know, those of you who are running kids around everywhere, it's always nice to have those meals that you have already prepared. Um, you know, you're off to work, you grab something out of the freezer, so by the time, you know, it's lunchtime at work, you are ready to heat that up and eat it. Um, so today, what I've been making, um, I just took out of the oven. Hey, Robin, look, I'm using my oven mitt. Um, my spaghetti squash, I made spaghetti squash. I'm going to go ahead and, um, those of you who don't know how to have spaghetti squash, you just take the fork and it comes out like spaghetti. Um, that would be for Monday, because Mondays are meatless Mondays. Um, I'll probably take a little bit for work, put some, um, I picked up some Classico Florentine spinach, um, today, so I'm going to give that a try out. Florentine spinach and cheese. Um, I might saute some spinach to put on with there, and I have some of the uh, Morningstar Farm crumbles. What I also have right here is an eggplant and zucchini lasagna. This is actually dinner tomorrow, but I went ahead and made it, and I'm going to put some plastic wrap over it and just stick it in the fridge. That way, when it's time for dinner tomorrow, I can just throw that in the oven and go ahead and make it. Also, um, let me grab you here going to show you that I am making this big old pot of chili that is on the stove that you're not seeing because I'm too close. There you go. <laughs> There's a pot of chili on the stove. Um, and I keep putting my finger in the camera. I am also, not tonight because it's getting late, going to be making some um, mini meatloafs. If you take a cupcake pan and you make your little uh, meatloafs in here. They come out these nice little round, um, yeah, loaves. And you can also make um, the world according to Egg Face. Eggy has some egg things you can make in here too. So I might do half of this meatloafs and half of these egg bite things. Um, so yeah, um, I'm getting prepared. Also today I bought, um, here we go, peppers. I bought these to make stuffed peppers during the week, and also I bought another thing of these to I slice them up, put them in little baggies. They're good for snacks instead of, um, you know, we have that big snack table at work, and I like to have these instead with some um, low-fat ranch dressing, or I make um, ranch dip or veggie dip with uh, Greek yogurt and Lipton vegetable soup mix. I make dip for myself there, and then that way it's a powerhouse of protein, and then my veggies. Um, but like I said, I'm also going to make stuffed peppers with these. Um, I'm going to stuff them with uh, turkey and quinoa. Um, so that'll be the meal today. Also picked up a cucumber. I don't know why I left it in the bag. Um, and I... I'm going to cut this up with some onions and mix it with some Greek yogurt, some dill, and a little bit of vinegar. So that's another meal, quick go-to thing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, preparing for my work week. You know, I've been losing weight by uh, keeping everything in check and healthy and um, just trying to keep myself prepared in order to be able to do that, when you prepare your lunches and your dinners in advance, you are less likely to go off of your program. Um, we tend to go pick things that we shouldn't be eating when we're not prepared. 
So, you know, get yourself a cute little bento box. Um, they really, they have them all over the place now. I saw some really cute ones at Walmart today. Um, little lunch things so you can pack everything and have it ready. Like I said, I um, want to go ahead and freeze a lot of stuff. So just have those in the freezer so those are quick, you know, working an eight and nine hour day getting in a workout and by the time I'm coming home it, we're talking about 8 o'clock at night um, last thing I want to do is cook a meal um, so you know just to be able to take something out of the freezer or out of the fridge that's already been made and just nuke it um, to be able to get on with my evening and, and not be so overwhelmed in the kitchen is a good idea and those of you who have big families too um, you know prepping things like this ahead of time that gives you more time with your family um, you know, just having it and then being like, oh, that's dinner. Phew, just throw it in the oven. We're good to go. So, you know, preparation is the key to this whole keep this bandwagon uh, rolling. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sherry's husband is in the hospital. And even um, while Dale's been in the hospital, Sherry made sure she brought her blender, um, her one cup blender. She'd already pre-packed some fruit and protein together to be able to just grab and mix in with her protein to make herself protein drinks. Um, she went to the store to get some items just to have there in the room, some fruit, some yogurt, you know, some drinks. So, you know, it, it is key. So even while she's going through this stressful time, she's still thinking about her bariatric life and those things she needs to do to keep her on the straight and narrow and, you know, keep the bandwagon rolling. So, um, if anyone wants any of the recipes, uh, the things I'm making, leave me a message below. I'd be happy to send them to you. Um, but yeah, so, you know, make us a response video. Tell me how you prepare for your week ahead or you prepare for your family and prepare to keep yourself on the wagon. Um, you know, what is it that you use? Most of us put everything in these little babies. I got off of using these for a long time. Not going to happen again. What this little thing is, it's one cup container. That's what it is. It's going to be my life again. One cup container. Um, you know, when this chili cools, uh, you know, I'm going to keep some of it in the refrigerator to have throughout the week. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be utilizing these babies. I got quite a few packs of these today. And, you know, I'm going to be setting up in that. And that way, you know, they're good to go. And I'm ready. I'm prepared. Um, also, during my shopping today, I bought a bag of shrimp. Um, shrimp is really easy to thaw quickly. Um, I always have bags of salad around. I, I think I was a bunny in a former life. I'm not really sure. Um, but usually a salad is my go-to at work during the afternoon. Um, I defrost a little, you know, I put some shrimp in a baggie in the morning and by the time I'm ready for lunch, they're thawed. I throw them in my salad. Um, I usually always have uh, several things of nuts around. Um, walnuts are my big thing because they have um, lots of iron in them and I have to keep my iron in check. Um, so yeah, I always usually have almonds, almonds and walnuts. I think I even have pecans. Um, I found this one at Walmart. I really like this because it's the uh, almonds roasted with pomegranate seeds and it's really good. Um, and sometimes I throw sunflower kernels in there. I always try to um, really pack my salads with a lot of um, fruit. I cut up strawberries and have strawberries in there. I also, like I said, I put the nuts in there and then I'll have my protein source in there. Um, Y'all know I'm a cheese freak. Um, but I have gotten off of uh, pasteurized cheese. I only have goat cheese now. So I usually have crumbled goat cheese in there. Um, also another go-to healthy thing that I do is I found these Melba snacks. Um, these are the roasted garlic whole grain ones. These are 60 calories and 2 grams of protein and there's 4 pieces you can have for that 60 calories. Um, I 
individualize these for in a little baggie and I usually have them ready. I put a little bit of honey goat cheese on here and then some sugar-free orange marmalade. It's to die for. These are my go-to snacks. Um, since I've kicked sugar out, you know, that that is my staple when I'm <laughs> craving something. I do that. Um, and then, you know, there's always those go-to things as I just dropped it. Um, I was going to show you a jar of peanut butter. I uh, always have apple slices and peanut butter around for a go-to snack, too. So, like I said, tell me what your go-to is and how you're keeping yourself on the track to, um, you know, your bariatric life. We'd love to get your response video and see what you guys have to say. Until uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, you'll see Julie, and next week you will see Sherry back hopefully. Um, we're all praying for Dale, and I hope you'll join us in prayer and praying for his recovery. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye.